This is the C130J, and let's do a mini walkabout inside to show you what it actually looks like inside one of these amazing American military transporters. Oh, g'day. Hello. Wow, look at this. This is cool. Here. Yep. There's an extra one back there, so it makes 180 inches longer. So we can carry eight pallets instead of what the old planks carry with the six. Only six pallets on the last one? Yep. So okay. We can carry eight, a lot more space. Yeah, this plane, I've been flying on it for two years, but it's great. 129 people you can fit on the plane when it's fully rigged, or 97 litters and four attendants. Okay. So it's capable to do everything. It's very good at carrying cargo people. It's the best troop color troop hauler the U.S. has because mm -hmm. these seats can fit more people than any other airliner could because the whole airliners are required to have armrest rules about that. We don't have no armrest. And so you can open up the, the thing in flight yep. and you sometimes do like para, para yep. drops? We can do uh, paratroopers or we have uh, heavy equipment airdrops for large scale platforms where we have our uh, CDS bundles, mm -hmm. which are smaller, I can show you. So for our paratroopers, we use these static lines. Yep. They will hook up to them, run out, jump out the door, or sometimes they'll jump off the ramp. Oh man. <laughs> um, heavy equipment, large scale platform, Parachute will hook up there, it'll swing out, open up, catch air, and pull it right out of the plane. And so this is stationed here in the Middle East, or? This, this current plane and our crew, we are working out of Kuwait for about the next three months. Okay, and then it flies back stateside? Yep, back to Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh wow, and then how is that, how many times do you have to land to refuel on the way back? Two, three stops, one in, uh, one in Europe, one in, uh, one more in the US and it was back to the stateside wheel. Awesome. Well, great, thank you very much. Um, is there anywhere else uh, that we can look at here on the... Take it for the flight deck if you'd like. Yes, please, thank you. And so this is the the middle of the range, that because there is a bigger one, isn't there? There's the... the this is the biggest of the C-130s. Yes. But there's like 17s. Yes. And other planes that are bigger than this one, but they're not quite the same. This is the... The newer version, the older version, so this is like our con box. The older versions has like dials and stuff, like more traditional, but this one has buttons now. And so. and so do you fly this plane or and what, what's it like to fly? It's fun. It's good. Uh, we get to uh, fly in the like we get to fly low to the ground. We like low level stuff a lot. Um, we do those we can do normal approaches and everything that everyone else does fly up at our high altitude flying, you know, twenty five thousand feet, so super high up there, but uh, I enjoy flying it because we tend to do more like hand flying. We're not just autopilot and then just landing at a big airfield. So we get to fly to small 3,000 foot strips and do a lot of hand flying. So it's uh, I enjoy flying it. Awesome. Well, I think that's everything I needed to know. But thank you very much for yeah. this mini tour. Yeah. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. used for uh, refueling yeah, in mid-air? Yeah, Okay, cool. And it's based off the 707 platform? It's actually based off a 767-200. 767-200? Yes. So they, they probably phased out the 707 tankers some time, time ago. ago. Yes. Yeah. But well, there you go. That's the last time I read the newspaper. Yes. So, awesome. So we have a look up here? Look. Yes. You'll see the car compartment throughout and then where the air refueling operator flies and then the pipe. This is a tanker aircraft and cargo as well, based as we just mentioned on the 767. I always thought the tankers were based off the 707, but it turns out they phased those out a long time ago. So you can see here, this is one of the setups that they use for bunks in case of a medical emergency, or if they need to have a lot of people sleeping on the plane. Generally, that's for medical reasons, you know, such as troop evacuations. But you can see how the fixtures go in here, and you can have multiple people up there. And this is the, the main cargo door. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then you can see straight out there into the Dubai Air Show. Do you know how much cargo this can carry? Uh, 18 
pallets. 18 pallets, so it's a lot more than the C130J that you've got sitting yeah. over there. Yeah, same number of pallets as the C17. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. But it's also a uh, tanker yeah. to our, refuel. Our primary role is tanker, so refueling is our number one mission. But yeah. if we're like deploying a fighter squad or we can carry their stuff and refuel them and take them where they need to go, so when they get there, they've got all their people and all their cargo. So like you saw on the back, we've got seats. Yep. We can have cargo up here. No kidding. So it's kind of like the, the tour bus when like a sports team goes yeah. on tour. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Trying to, try to do our one shop stop. And Amazing. And through here is the... Uh, this is called the air crew member compartment. Okay. And then you've also got your flight deck up there and the air fueling stations up there as well. Perfect. And then if you go to your left, you'll see our crew rest facilities. We've got three bunks actually. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. So this is the crew rest area. So you can see that there's three bunks when you get down in here. I wouldn't want the bottom bunk. That seems like it's right down. But how much longer this is and more proper like mattress than flying business class. It always surprised me how good the military has it. And of course, that's probably gonna get a lot of laughs from the audience because any military service members watching, they're probably gonna say that it's not as good as business class, but that's just my own opinion. So this area here is also the crew rest. So we saw the bunk beds before. This is the, the refueling station. Old model was the refueling station at the back of the yes. plane. So with the older fueling planes that we were on, I was a prior on the KC-135. He would go to the back of the airplane, open up a Now we are right behind the pilots. It's very close. And we use a camera where we can see everything from this area right over here and see from wingtip to wingtip through these cameras right here as well. Fantastic. Yes. This will give us control of the boom. Yep. Once we lower it to go up, down, left, or right. And the inner tube to connect with the plane is this part right here that we'll okay. talk with. Yeah. And there's two stations. There's two. So one of the cool things about this is with the old planes, when we were going through training and students, we'd have to have an instructor kind of help us move one stick with us. When we have an instructor station right here and a student station right here where we're going to training, this stick can override uh, this one right here in case we're making a bad flight. If the plane's coming in too close and we're gonna like hit them or something like that, the instructor can override this control. Okay. And so it's a lot safer as well. Perfect. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And then through here is going to be the cockpit. Okay, hello. I'm, my name's Nick. I'm from a YouTube channel called Found and Explained. Yes. Do videos about airplanes and other machines and stuff. And I was wondering if I could... Front, yeah. yeah, I think uh, probably here would be best. Okay. First of all, what's it like to fly this tanker aircraft? Um, it's it's awesome. Uh, it's very pilot friendly. Boeing designed a phenomenal plane in the 767 that uh, this aircraft is designed off of the body type. And the cockpit up here you see is uh, based on the 787, but it has a uh, so you'll see some similarities here to a 78 and a seven or triple seven. Um, it's awesome. It's very smooth. Um, she she flies very very well. Okay, perfect. And so give us sort of a general idea of the cockpit. Uh, you, is there anything specific that you want to point out? Oh, we have the uh, the captain seat over here and the, the co-pilot seat over here. Um, the primary flight displays up here allow us to monitor the different systems of the aircraft, fuel, air, uh, our brakes, and see how they're doing. And if there's anything that is not normal with them, it lets us know. Okay. Perfect.